Hi, I'm Kristen Namdahl and welcome to my backyard. Today I'm going to show you how I turn my super fine baby hair into two braids that I join into a crown with flowers in the back of my head. It's a super quick tutorial. It's something I do most days to keep my hair up. I, if I blow dry my hair and leave it down, it does not stay styled for very long because of the weight of my hair. And so with the use of two ponytails, two bobby pins, and three flower clips, I'm able to turn my hair into a style that looks cute and stays put for the entire day. It's super easy. I either part my hair down the middle or with a slight part. I'm going to show you the slight part right now. And I'm doing this on freshly cleaned hair, which just has minimal product in it this morning. If you would like to see me do this video in a different variation with center part or with showing you how to do it on different textured hair, I can do more versions of this. You just have to let me know in the comments. All right, so I'm going to do a side part, but then after I angle the crown of my hair, I'm going to go back to a center part and just slightly tease the top of my crown, uh, back of my crown here, because I have a cowlick there. And if I don't try to cover it, it will show when I separate my hair into two even parts in the back. So now I'm going to try to uh, part my hair evenly in the back. If it's not perfectly even, that's okay because I don't pull hair for the braid from the back. I only pull from framing around my face and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna start by pulling a small bit from the front of my center of my head right here. And I'm gonna separate that into three pieces and pull the outside to the inside and pull the outside to the inside, pull the outside to the inside and then once I do this side here, as I continue to pull from the outside in where it frames my face, I will be pulling a new section of hair. But I will not be doing it when I pull the outside from the inside on the back side. So only on the face framing side am I, side am I pulling hair like in French formation of a braid. On the back side here, I'm only pulling the existing piece. That piece gets bigger because as we're alternating these pieces of hair, they're all getting thicker because of pulling in the front, but we're not pulling from the back. And that's what's gonna keep the back of my hair smooth and it's going to lay a little bit flatter. It's amazing because the more you do this, the less you really need to look at what you're doing. You can kind of try to picture what you're doing in your head. And as I'm pulling from the back here, I'm trying to keep a steady line between the center part and my ear. I'm trying to keep it about even and centered. And then once I get to the bottom here, I'm finding that I've picked up all the hair on this side of my head. If you're not comfortable with letting your hair just lie flat like this, you could secure this side while you're working on that side. But like I said, I don't have a ton of hair, so I don't have a lot of hair getting in the way either. Okay, and then once you've pulled all of the hair that you can pull, you just do a regular fashion braid to the bottom and I'm going to add a ponytail. I use the blonde ponytails because my hair is blonde, but with the way we're going to do this style, you it doesn't really matter. This is going to be hidden in a minute. All right, so this side is almost done. All right, and so now we'll do this side and I start by pulling a small bit from the top front, separating it into three pieces. Notice also how I'm holding my hands and my arms as I do this. All right, so I'm gonna pull from the front in and then from the, or we're pulling from the outside in on both sides. I do one on each side before starting to pull more hair and only pulling from the frame around my face, not pulling from the center back. And see how my, the hand on the top of my head sometimes rests on my head. If you do it gently, you won't mess up your hair. And I find that I think some people might, even me in the beginning, I found that my arms got tired because I wasn't used to doing this. And so resting your hand in the middle of it 
is kind of nice. And so I'm doing exactly what I did on the other side, only this time pulling in a mirror fashion. So it is the left side that's framing my face and pulling hair and the right side that's not pulling extra hair from the center back, which is the opposite of what we did on the other side of my head. Okay, so I'm doing this without a mirror right now. If I didn't like the way the back looked, I could always redo this. But I'm going to keep going because we're not done. You could totally leave your hair down like this and if your braids were longer than mine or thicker than mine, it might look super cute to leave your bangs or leave your braids down. But one of the styles that I really love to do is to take each braid and tuck it up like the, the bottom piece here and tuck it up inside the braid of the opposite braid and secure it with one bobby pin. Now, this probably works with one bobby pin because I have super fine hair. If you have thicker hair, you may need more than one bobby pin. And if you have longer hair, you may need to fold this a couple of times. So now that I have the braids secured and more of a halo or crown braid going, now I take my flower pins and I put one in the center back and then I angle the next two a little bit higher and on a diagonal to create that beautiful framing effect with the flowers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all for me, please leave me questions in the comments. If you would like to see tutorials on different ways that I style my hair or the different types of braids that I make, please also leave those for me in the comments as well. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.